When it comes to creating labels, all you need is a data source, either a table or a report. For example, if I open up the customer table and it's got the fields I want to create my mailing label, like customer name, address, city, state, and so on, then I'll use this. However, if you have a database designer that really didn't define the tables here, or it's not clearly marked, which is my customer table, and there's 20,000 of them, well then come down to the reports and hopefully there's a report that that's clearly marked, like customer info. Let me double click and open that up. If I can find the fields within a report, and again reports are based upon tables, then I can use that then. Not the report itself, just the data found within the report. To do so, and you can see here customer name, address, city, and then over to the right, zip code. Good enough for me, I'll close out of the report, make sure I have it selected here, and then come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Reports group, and click on the Labels button. And it will base the labels upon the data within the report, not the report itself. First of all, it says, what label size would you like? Well, before we start looking at the size, look at the manufacturer. Is it Avery? You know, look on the box of your labels. Is it Bodestar, Coastar, whoever it is? Find the manufacturer, go ahead and select it, we'll pretend it's Avery. Then come up here and search for the product number. Again, on the box of your labels, in addition to having the manufacturer name, they should have the product number. So when you select the product number, like C2243, it'll actually have the dimensions here for us and how many labels are across. Now, of course, if you don't find anything here, you, you can always do Customize, and then build your own little label. It says it's going to be one and a quarter inch label by two and a half inch label, and how many are across, and so on. But we'll stick to the basics here and click Next. You can choose the font type and also the color. Of course, if you've got a color printer, that would make sense. You can change the type from Arial to Times New Roman, whatever works for you. I'm going to leave it and click Next. And then all I have to do is add the available fields in this report by double clicking on them over to the right to the label preview field here. So first of all, double click on the customer name, you can see it add the field. Then I want to hit enter and below the customer name I want to be able to double click on the address, hit enter, double click on the city, comma, space, then double click on the state, space, double click on the zip code because I don't want them bunched up all together so it's running city to state and zip. Need those spaces in that comma. Now in addition to these fields you can type in some text here, whatever you want, if you want this to be the same on every label. But in this case I'll go ahead and backspace and delete it and just keep it with the mail merge fields. Click next. And then how do I want to sort these labels when they're printed off? I can do it by customer name, double click on that. Now I don't have a customer last name and a customer first name field. If I had a last name and double clicked on that then all of them would be sorted printing off with the first customer's last name beginning well with the letter A if their last name is Albert all the way down to the Z's. So customer name, it's a first and a last name, it's going to be sorting by the actual first name. So if the first name is Bob, begins with the B, well they'll be up at the top of the sort. Click Next. Now just to name my report. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and just call it RPT, prefix for report. My labels 2, because I already have a previous my labels, and then go ahead and click finish. And that's what it looks like. Now before I stick my sheet of labels in the printer and then come up here and click on the print button to print this report on those sheet of labels, first go ahead and print this on a blank sheet of paper. Then I would take this sheet of paper here and hold it up behind the labels or in front of a blank sheet of labels up to the light and make sure that the address here fits within that with the light shining behind it within the, the label. Because if the label is just cutting it off the address or the border of it, then I may want to come back here and right click to go to the design view and mess with the grid here as far as how much spacing I want in between each label. Maybe there's too much so I need to click and drag it over or too much spacing from the top row of labels down to the next row and then I can click and drag and stretch that grid in and then go back change my views to print preview and see what it looks like. If that's good enough we'll go ahead and do a print. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.